My article is over the performance of yellow flowering magnolias in Zone 6B by Donna C. Fair. It was done in McMinnville, Tennessee. Um, they are known on the USDA hard, cold hardiness zone map. They are known to be a 6B. And the they used yellow magnolias and they measured um, flower color, bloom, duration, and growth rates. And they used 30 different cultivars of magnolias. But what they don't really talk a whole lot about is that all these magnolia cultivars are grafted. So the scions on the top are different from the rootstocks on the bottom. And there's not a whole lot of information done on the rootstocks. They've tried to go back and try to cha like trace down the species or cultivars to kind of help explain and give more information as to um, different diseases and um, the ability to develop a good root system and things of that nature. And that wasn't really there. So that was one little small detail that could have a big impact on this study. Um, so they measured the highest yellow color the, the and the lightest and the earliest bloom, the longest flowering time. And they also measured the powdery mildew on leaf area. <clears throat> so zone 6B in McMinnville was seen as a transition area. And a transition area is where it's got a very broad um, climate and geographical um, array, I guess that's the word. Um, the climates can change and the, ge the geographical locations are very different in different areas of this zone, of this area. And so you can have it lean towards more a 6A or you can have it or you can have plants lean more towards 7A. And those are the two zones that are right above and right under, respectively, of 6B. <clears throat> and so they go into this study and they have noticed that a warmer season tends to impact the trees more. Um, it can, if, if it's warmer, then the plant, the trees will mature um, much more rapid, and that in return has a much shorter bloom duration, and it also changes the colors. Um, for if it was warmer, then it resulted in less of a yellow color. <coughs> Sorry, and um. This yellow color um, can change from day to day depending on maturity, temperatures, exposures, anything at all. Um, it can completely change. They um, talked it th for the growth rates. They did height, um, canopy width, and um, trunk diameters, and they measured the trunk diameters right or um, 15 centimeters above the bud union and the bud union is where um the scion and the rootstock have um conjoined together to create this new improved 2.0 tree and then um they they measured the powdery mildew um in the in a natural way it was not prevented and it was not treated. So then they, they they decided which ones were going to produce a more um, resistant species, I guess you could say. <clears throat> and um, really the whole study was to just show that, um, show which cultivars would do better for the the hardiness zones whether it be 6a or 6b or 6 or 7a sorry and you're able to make a better decision as to which cultivar you would want in your landscape or a future landscape to have the best coloration bloom time and growth rates so that you have a tree that you can enjoy and get the most out of <laughs>